New developments tonight in the suitcase murders. For the first time, we hear audio recordings of Stephen Zelich talking to police during an internal investigation of a previous case. The I-team's Jamont Terry is with us. He has a story. Jamont. Carol, this audio comes from a case dating back to 2001. Stephen Zelich was accused of trying to handcuff a woman in his apartment. We're going to hear the West Dallas Police Chief question Zelich about that incident. Stephen Zelich remains behind bars for hiding the body of two women and stuffing them in suitcases. His personnel file while working for the West Dallas Police Department is thick and outlines suspensions, neglect of duties, allegations of stalking women and going to strip clubs on duty, plus a 2001 incident with a woman inside his apartment. Do you think you did anything wrong? I had nothing. No, absolutely not. This is audio from that 2001 incident. The I-team tracked down that woman. He grabbed me, he wrestled me down to the ground, and he was and he was on top of me. And what did he say to you? He, he told me that he was going to kill me. And I said, what are you going to do? I said, please stop. What are you doing? Zelich told police she stole money. You grabbed her. Right. OK. In an attempt to retrieve the money. Right. And, and to get your money back, you grabbed her. Where'd you grab her? Well, the throat area or neck area, I should say, back in the neck area and her wrist. The woman escaped and ran into the streets nude. West Dallas PD suspended Zelich for 20 days, but did not pursue criminal charges. My concern is your conduct uh, inside your apartment and uh, uh, in the hallway of your apartment. Uh, you I know. don't feel I did anything wrong at all. Police records reveal weeks later, several women complained Zelich stalked them. That prompted another investigation, but Zelich resigned before it was completed. Now, again, we received those uh, recordings from the Journal Sentinel tonight. Zelich has entered no, a not guilty plea and said he had no intentions of harming the women. Carol? Okay, thank you, Jermaine. 